Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already please drop a line I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or insight that you truly need it please go ahead and share and give a thumbs up it'll be greatly appreciated and the video I'm doing right now is Twin Flame 101 hey Ogas uh, you're ne you're neither small or uh, nor significant insignificant you are just very uh, well folded and it's true because a lot of times we feel like we're overlooked a lot of times we feel like we're not heard we're not seen um our worth makes us feel worthless <laughs> you know um it makes us feel like there's always something wrong with us the reason why you know we have to be treated like this constantly all the time and you have to understand a lot of the times i have to be able to remind myself there's something very special in you that it that you know that can irritate the soul of other things, of soul of other entities, you know, of other, it's not even saying other people, but it's the attachments on that other people, you know, be different times where people, even they ain't got a wish not bad on you in life and just the different things you're going on, y'all heating up my tea again and mess around cold, so hold on just a second. All right, y'all. My, my um, tea got cold, and I was just like, "Yeah, get ready, sip it again." This, you know, it's real cold. But anyway, there'll be a lot of times in life where you can look back, and we, we'll go through that. I don't want to say a pity party, but we'll go through a time of really reflecting and just seeing how you know we we did everything we could. You know, you go down that checklist of trying to see, you know, why am I not? Why am I feeling like I'm unlovable or? You know, I, I don't deserve kindness. I don't deserve peace in my life. You know, um, and these are the things that shows you throughout this is is like what we whatever we are lacking within ourselves. You know, it's like usually we will attract that within when we can see this is what we look like on the outside. You know, it's easy for us. You know, when people come up to us and say, you know, hey, I got this and this and that going on in my life, and we can you know assess anybody and being able to tell them the cure to all their ailments is going on. But when it comes to us. In our lives, we were getting like clueless. Like, why do I have to go through this? Why do I always have to go through that? You know, because I've always went like that in my life. You know, or even when I was having love in my life. You know, because it's not. I'm not trying to say I've never been loved in my life. I've had love in my life, but it was just like I've had more hate in my life than I've had love. And there'll be different times where I had to really, you know, I, I've, you know, you've been with me for a while. You have heard me saying I can be honest about it. When I picked out certain situations and certain people, I that showed me how much I didn't love myself on the different things that I choose to entertain, different things that I was willing to sacrifice that is priceless that you should have never been sacrificed, and the different things that I was willing to go all in for when it wasn't, you know, it wasn't being reciprocated, and those are the times where we needed to go through that to be able to trust and fold because there will be different situations. Even when you can see out in the world, like you, when people allow themselves to go through certain things, you be like, you need to leave that person alone. You need to leave this alone. But there'll be certain situations with our life and we're going through the same thing. Except when you see it out here on social media and in celebrities and stuff like that. Only difference between they're going through the same thing as us except it's more public. You know, and I think that's worse. You know, because so many people are placing judgment on you. But... There'll be different times where you can just really see in your life. This like, did I give myself that love? I was so busy giving it to other people. Did I give that to myself? Or all that support and love that I give people, was I giving that to myself? You know, there'll be different things that will show me love is not supposed to hurt. Love does not allow you to be, you know, jealous off of different people or, you know, having people make you jealous or, you know, threaten to leave you and be with other people if you didn't do this, you know, or putting your love in a cage. Cage, love does, love's supposed to be able to move freely, you know, um, love is not supposed to sit up here and make you sacrifice your peace, you know, your, your clarity. You know, love is for yourself. Just, you know, anything that is built on you that is has no price tag on it. If anybody is asking you to do that, they don't love you. 
you know, or different times where you, you know, why can't people respect me if they, they can't, when you, you're showing people by the things that you're allowing yourself to tolerate to say, I don't need to respect you. And I didn't know that, you know, it was just like, cause I'll be like, I'll be demanding respect. It's like, but you see that they're just dead set on misunderstanding you. You are so, you see how they are dead set on, you know, not respecting you, not allowing that love because you, you're allowing them to treat you that way. But when you allow you to take that away, you're taking that power away. You're taking that attention away. You know, and these are the different things that you, it may hurt like hell when you go through this. But when you demand that and say, I'm not going to entertain this, you know, if this is what it's going to be, me, me taking away my peace of mind, this is going to keep me awake. This is going to keep me crying. Not tears of joy, but tears of sadness. You know, it keeps me going down a checklist on wondering why this keeps it happening. You know, and these are the different things. It's like you are very well folded. You know, there's nothing insignificant about you. There's nothing that's worthless about you, unlovable about you, because everybody deserves love. Even I'll be looking at the people that hate the worst out of me, and I know that they deserve love. You know, and a lot of times when we can see different things, what people are willing to do to us, you, you can see the lack of whatever that is. And it's not saying that is in a bad way to be down in somebody, but that's true. When we're willing to do, to, you know, just like you see how people are willing to fight over, you know, a man or a woman and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, prime example, you know, I've been through this in high school and stuff like that. I've been through this in my early 20s where it's like, oh, he, you know, he slept with her and I'm going to go do, 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 do. But you got, you know, like I, now this is a different story if it's like a best friend or, or, or a family member and stuff like that. Both of them need to be handled correctly. But it's just a point where if it's somebody who don't know you, you don't know what lies been told towards that person. You know, every you know, there's two sides to every story. That might be a person be like, oh, she crazy or oh, he crazy and oh, this and this and that. But they're not telling you what they did to that person. Now, they, there may be a person that's just straight crazy, but it may be something when they're allowing themselves to see the truth in that person. So they're going to allow themselves to be a victim. You know, or being seen as a victim. And it's just that. And then the next thing you know, you're going to fight somebody. Don't know nothing about you. This person could have put them through so much hell. But but the fact is, they put their damn foot down. And say, I'm not going to allow you to keep doing this to me. I'm not going to allow you to keep. I'm not going to keep entertaining these things to you. When you see how this is affecting me. You see how I keep reminding you of this. I, you know what you're doing. You know this is becoming a habit of yours and you're enjoying what you're doing. And then when you're allowing yourself to see, you know, those different things that's coming in your life, you're allowing yourself to say, I'm putting me first. I've always put other people first. Now it's time to put me first. There's nothing selfish about me saying no. There's nothing selfish about me saying I don't want to answer the phone or me not wanting to be around you. If I see what you're you're doing to me or the vibrations you're sending me is just like disrupted towards my soul, no, I'm not about to do that. And you become that itch with the heavy B in the front of it. You become that person that is just like, what, what do they call it, unreasonable or difficult to deal with. Or you're being crazy. Or that person is unstable. They will make you do that when you demand respect, when you know you're not playing a fool anymore. Or you're allowing yourself not to, you know, playing towards their game. And not saying that you're the fool, but playing them games. But you know how they say, don't play Bobo the fool. You know, allowing yourself to do that because they're telling you trust the unfolding on this. These are the situations you had to be able to go through to where, you know, you have to be able to know your worth. You are priceless. You are a vessel. You are something that is meant to be here. You are a person that is mattering. You are a person that is holding a powerful purpose on creating change in this world. But for us to be able to know that, we had to really go through some hardships in life. We had to really allow ourselves to see what we attracted in different life. You know, because it will be different situations where, you know, like I was saying about people wanting to fight other people because of somebody they slept with. I'm like, do you know who that person is? No. Okay, but why are you feeling like that person that don't even know you has the whole loyalty to you? That person that you laying with, that person that's supposed to be with you, that person that say they love you, that you know they say they're your woman, they say they're your man. That's the person that owes loyalty to you, you know. But you never know. That person could have told them they were they were single, you know. You know how many people lives are being snatched up over somebody where that person is still doing the same thing. Whatever they doing to you, they doing it to another person. I don't think that that was the first time them doing that to you. Or even if it has something to do with family members. You don't know. That, that person may see you 
may see you and especially if you're chosen or you're anointed or whatever they see something in you and just try to figure out why couldn't i have been picked for this why is that person being led in this direction why is that person being able to move in this kind of way why is this person being able to have a story that can uplift others but mine can't you know and these are the different things that's moving on into your life that makes you feel that you have to play small you don't have to play small towards anything you know you're very significant and in so many different ways they're telling you to own your power be proud of it wear that mess like it's a it's a suit it comes a second nature to you you know you do different things out in the world that people got to study for and something to you you can just wake up and do it you know there'll be different times it's just like the more you keep going through things the more you keep learning about yourself the more you keep showing up for yourself you're going to start seeing a lot of different things in a different way they say when you will move different and you will pick for different you will make a difference and these are those different things that are taking place into your life where they're saying trust the unfolding There'll be people in your there'll be people that's heading towards your life. Not all the time is always gonna be there. It's a blessing when you can have somebody and they stay real with you and they're in your life and they're there because they want to see you grow. They want to see you do better. They're gonna sit up here and remind you and get a put a foot off in your behind and just sit up here and say, Hey, I know you are so much better than this. Don't allow what them things is going on around you to affect what you got going on right here. You know, you you have came so far. Even when you're not feeling like you're far enough, you are farther more than what you were when you first started. Even if you're not at the top of the ladder where you are, they say, look how far you climbed. The more you get, the higher you get up, the more shakier that like, on ladder get. You know, there's so many different things that's going And sometimes you got to, and you know, if you've been with me for a while, you heard me say that. Sometimes you got to psych yourself out. You know, There's too many people are waiting on you to fold. There's too many people that's waiting for you to give up. There's so many people that don't wish the worst on you and getting pissed off by the daggone day. Because those things that they placed on you has not came to pass yet. Those things went against you to help you. Those things went for you to break you and then make you again. You know, all these different things we go through and we look at life like, you know, I don't feel loved. You know, I feel so neglected. I feel undeserved. You know, all these things, you know, because I used to keep people away and felt like I was unlovable because of stuff that I go through constantly because I felt like I wasn't honored for love because look how people are willing to take my life like that. Well, my life ain't meaning nothing to nobody. The people that it meant more to are the people that are done past. You know, and that that's a hurtful feeling you have to digest, you have to be able to accept, and you're still trying to press love out to the world. You know, even I send love out to my enemies when I know they wish death on me. You know, and those are the different things that goes on in my life where I got to keep pressing forward. That's that that's that fuel to keep me going. Just because of that, and that lets you know you you must be on something where people are willing to eliminate eliminate you. Even them, I can't even say the word. I'll take you out. <laughs> take you out eliminate that's what I meant to say eliminate you you know at all costs you know at all costs I used to think that somebody pays my five dollars and they say they'll take me out bow you know and they would do it in a heartbeat and that was a hurtful feeling it was a hurtful feeling and that let me know God must really have me in a purpose to where it disturbs a lot of people and that was a hurtful feeling for me because it was just like, you know, I, the things that I go through, I wouldn't wish on my enemies. And I got a lot of them because of my purpose. I got a lot of them because of the situation I'm in. You know, people I don't even know, you know, and that's a situation that was very scary. But I have to be able to tell myself God has protected me. You know, if there was things that was going to take place, it would have already happened. But these are the things that are growing me. These are the things that be able to show me. When I'm doing what I'm doing and I can be able to allow people to understand my life to a certain extent when it's called for, you know, and being able to say these are the things that I've gone through. This is a part of my purpose. You know, I've shared that a lot with y'all, you know, if you've been with me long enough or if it was meant for you to be guided towards the different things that I talk about when it comes to my life on the reason why I do the things that I do. 
you know and it's, it's when, you, when you can be able to do that and you're showing the good and the bad, the happy and the sad, that shows a person. Look at how much Roz is going through. And she still tries to put a smile on my face or she still try to make me laugh, try to make me laugh. Or she'll still be trying to say something that uplifts my day when I feel lost in my vibration. Or I got so much confusion and things is going on in my life that I'm really trying to make sense of. And she'll sit up here and put two or three videos out. Or she'll make a post about something or she'll drop a podcast for that and you're showing somebody I've gone through different things I've, I've crawled through the trenches still do you know it'll be days where I have major setbacks but I have a powerful comeback there's days that I felt like giving up and then I, I went in all in it was different days where I felt in the dark and it reminded me of my light you know we go through different things in our life where they're telling us to trust the process and a lot of times it's hard to do that when you're facing so much treachery in your life and you're facing so much trials and tribulations but it's at that point it reminded me of this oh my god <laughs> when i said that it reminded me i was watching a horror short party it's it's a uh they do horror uh horror animation and it was talking it was and the way he does it i love the way he do it because he used uh, true stories of what happened and he make it into animation and he was talking about a guy who, who got out the military you know and he was all really high on PTSD and stuff like that so he had a thing about Taco Bell and he would eat in Taco Bell until he start you know he was very small you know a uh, small frame person statue you know stature and very small and then it was like the more he ate the more gain made gain weight he was you know he was gaining weight and his wife kept telling him you're gonna get sick if you keep eating this please stop you know this is gonna mess with your health and all of a sudden you know he ate so much he was sneaking and eating acting like he was in the shower and he over here you know eat you know just chugging down chalupas and junk like that and he, he was eating it all like every day like going back and forth if he went out saying i had to be out and about he'd be heading you know to taco bell and it got so bad until he went through, I don't know if it was pneumonia or something like that. And next, you know, he collapsed. And when he collapsed, they, you know, they had to take him to the hospital and something was going on until it, it put him in a coma. And when he was going in a coma, he kept on saying, you know, it was things, just the glove in his whole body or, you know, he felt like he was in hell and things was just pulling on him. And, you know, he was, every time he tried to crawl, the more he crawled, it was like the more his skin just, you know, it was just bad. And he was just got to that point where he was yelling at the devil and say, you will not beat me. I'm not going down with a fight. You know, I, he's like, I, I don't sit up here and fought wars back to back to back. I'm not going to let you get me. And that's at that point where you're going to get mad at the devil. And you're going to be able to stand on your own. If it, it, You know, we can get pissed off at God all day. You know, and a lot of times we don't understand why he puts us through the stuff that he puts us through. But it's just a lot of times you got to remind yourself some of the things he's hurting you is helping you. A lot of times you have to understand it feels lonely. Like, why did I have to lose this person? That person wasn't even thinking about losing you. You know, you, you've been there with a person is like, you are not a loss to them. You know, you, you are that person. They, they can, I can take advantage of that person. I can use them. I can play them for Bubba the Fool. I can do this and I can do that to that person. And no matter how much I did to them, all I got to do is apologize, do a little sob story, maybe may drop a fake tear or whatever like that. Made me think about the worst thing in my life. And it ain't got to be dependent on them. But let me just go ahead and play them like that. Let me get inside their mind. Let me go ahead and, and use their weaknesses against them and all that. You know, and those different things. They weren't scared to lose you. They always say people ain't scared to lose you. They scared to see you move on. That's what really hits them deep when they know that. And those are the different things that will take place in your life where it is like you show up for other people. Now it's time to show up for yourself. You know, where other people will always put them as their main priority and use you as being disposable or using you as an option. Now it's you to be that main priority. This is at that time to not feel guilty by saying no. This is at that time we're not feeling bad by not being around certain individuals. Or you choose to just dis disconnect yourself or distance. Because it's like I'd rather use distance than disrespect. You know, I allow myself to be very selective about the things that I choose to select. And you have to be that way. And a lot of times, universe and God... Excuse me, y'all. Universe and God will put you in certain situations just to test you, just to see are you going to fall back into your old weaknesses again. And you already know that these people don't don't see you, don't see you the way you want to be seen. 
they see you as something where let me see a parent see be that narcissistic punch your bag or let me see them as that doormat or I'm, I want them to do something for me but if they need something I'm just not going to be available for them but they always open up to be dumb dumb and you know and that's how people see us at times it's sad about that but there's a lot of times where people see us as that and those are those times it's like don't smell don't don't sit up here and play small this is at that time to show up and show up big time. This is at that time to stop playing quiet and allow your daggone energy to speak for you. Let it roar. You know, allow yourself to be able to be that beastly warrior that you are. And these are the different things that showing you are just because of the things you have faced. Just because of how all the odds were stacked up against you when you're still here. Just how many times that your life was just trying to get snatched out left, right, left, right, left. And you had so many enforcements that was watching you, that was protecting you. I always made you put your best foot forward. Or it'll be certain times where something was telling you, hey, you don't, don't, don't go there. Or hey, do this. Or hey, do that. And that just disrupts the entity that was trying to fall, you know, trying to take you out. These are all the different things that's taking place into your life where you you hold a major part in this world. You know, don't allow what people say, don't allow their opinions, don't allow what they want to project on you to try to make you think less of yourself or not thinking that you don't matter to the world where you're really about to make a change for yourself. These are the reasons why you go through the things that you go through because it shows you, it really shows you about yourself. It, are you allowing what others tend to, you know, that outdated version of you or are you going to allow that to define you? Or just allow yourself to keep them in that. You want to be outdated. I'm going to keep you in that out to date. I'm current. You know, I'm trying to get towards that future. I'm, I, I say I change every five minutes on myself. It ain't about being fake. But it's just the fact is I'm in competition with myself. Not with nobody. I don't have to block nobody's blessings. I'm trying to work on my own. You know, and those are different things. You still wishing people well. Even the ones that do you wrong, you wish them well. Whatever you want in your life, that's what you're going to wish on other people. You know, what you wish on other people, that's what you'll choose to end up having in your life. And you have to remember that. And a lot of times it's hard for you to do that, especially when people be doing you wrong. But this is where you show that you're still strong. You know, and that means a lot of times it's going to be lonely. A lot of times it's going to be when you cry. A lot of times where you're going to be just mad. You know, and there'll be different times of that. But then it'll get to that point where it'll start making sense to you on why you had to go through these things. Why certain things had to play out the way it did. Because you very well folded, nice and neat. You know, even when you feel like a whole hot mess in the dirty laundry that they done threw in the corner, <laughs> you are very neatly folded. But it gets to that point where you get in life. You know, we're going through a lot of tribulations right now. We're going through a lot of hardship. You know, and there'll be different things that come to you. And there'll be different things that come into you all at once where you're not dealing with one thing or maybe two things. You're dealing with five or six things and all of them are heavy. And it'll be like, I can't win for losing. I can't take a break. And it's just like, this ain't that time to break. This is that time to build. You know, if you got to pause, you pause. You got to take a break for yourself. Like, take a break because you're resting up. Because you ain't falling apart. You leveling up. You uploading. You know, you're like, oh my God, my life is falling apart. It may feel that way. It may feel that way, but that's not what's going on. It's just the fact is everything that is no longer needed in your life is being snatched away from you. Because God knows we deserve better into our lives. We had to go through these and he feel like the lesson has been learned. But we have to be able to close that door on that lesson. We have to be able to appreciate what those things taught us. Being able to see that you know a lot of times we go through scary stuff. But knowing who, who, who protects you, who is for you. You know, you have you know how they say that saying it's just like if you know as God is for you, you ain't gonna worry about who's against you. And nobody can sit up here and surpass what God is doing for you in your life. Even though it may feel like it, it's not. It's not. Different things is happening for a reason, you know, I can't say. But things are happening for a reason, but it's gonna be the best for you. You know, even if you feel like it's the worst for you, you have to. A lot of times, you gotta just remind yourself that even when you're mad, just saying this is this is pre preparing me for something big. This is allowing me to know that I can't be touched. This is another another thing that's showing me I can't be moved. 
I earned all my stripes that I'm getting. I'm showing other people. I've gone through different things in my life. I've, I've faced a lot of things that should have broke me. I had things snatched away from me that should have really broke me. You know, you may have had different things that you really hold dear to you that was broke away from you. Because the devil knew that will be something that will make you just snap. That will make, make you feel like I lost everything. Why should it matter? And that's what the devil wants you to do. But God tell you a lot of things is being restored. But it's being restored in a whole different way. A lot of times things are breaking away. And they went about their business. And some things is just broke away. Because <laughs> you ain't got no business. Period. But a lot of different things is going. Because they they're, whatever that is. Is going through their journey of life. And healing and uplifting or whatever. Just like you are. And then when it's, you know, it, it goes through that huge transformation, then I'll come back. Then they'll, whatever that is or whoever that is, will understand why those different things had to happen. And see things a lot more differently. If not, you know, hey, they'll be seeing it from afar. You know, it is what it is. We have to be out. That we have The universe is telling us we have to be at that vibration saying it is what it is. Or it, this is my turn. <laughs> you know, this is my season. This is my turn. You know, and it, whatever you got for you, you know, and when you're allowing yourself to be consistent with that, it's going to stay consistent with you. You know, you are you are chosen. So for you being chosen, you are being very protected. You know, you being moved in certain situations. But these are the different things that's really showing us what warriors tend to uh, stand for. This is what Hayokas tend to do. You know, and then it's, it's, it's like when, when we built differently anyway, we hidden in plain sight, you know, and it's not saying that, you know, people in our tribe, we're up level than that. No, we learning from our ancient ones. We're learning uh, from our, our tribal ancestors. These are the ones that put us up like y'all are built different because we got the ones that we've been raising, you know. From, you know, like the little cub type, you know, like, the, you know, the tribal cub where they were, you know, before they can even walk, they were learning the ancient, you know, the ancient practices and stuff like that. And us, it, it was like when we were doing it and it was doing it behind the shadows to where we didn't know what was going on. And it's just like we're all holding a purpose. It's not about us being better than the next person. We all hold a purpose. You know, and it'll be some of the ones that's been learning for a long time. It's going to come into our lives and teach us the ropes. You know, while we're we're all learning off of each other, and it's just like there is like a lot of us are hidden in plain sight. You know, we got the watchers, we got the over overseers, we got the lookers. You know, all those different things, the shamans. You know, the brujas, all those different things, all of them in different you know different shapes, forms, and fashion, different walks of life, all banding together. You know, and these are the things that's taking place in there. So it's like never feel like. You know, you are you are small. You don't matter. You're worthless. You don't hold a purpose because you do. Just because other people don't recognize it don't mean that there ain't no other people that's not, you know, that won't recognize you. Because they always tell us what you're seeking is already seeking you. Whatever your, you know, your desire, your yearnings for is preparing you for that. And those are the different things that's taken on into your life where you'll understand. There are going to be people in your life that's going to really appreciate you. You don't have to remind them of who you are. You don't have to remind them of what good and what's bad or, you know, what, what's hurting you or what's making you sad. Because it's like anybody who loves and cares for you don't have to be in a significant relationship. But it comes to family, when it comes to friend, I'm talking about even soul family. When you're going through all these different things, they see that road you were walking on when they, when they first found you. They're not going to take you back down there. You know, they want to be able to see the upliftment in life. They want to be able to see the beauty come out of you because it's been there. It's been waiting, you know, for you to you be able to, you know, project out, out in a way where it'll be beneficial for you. But it'll be, you know, it'll be appreciated. It'll show grace to it. You know, gratitude is like that. That person I've been through so much, but they done showed up and showed out on their self. Look at all the things that they've gone through and nothing shook them. Even if it did, you don't went through some stuff to where you ain't going to look like you've been through it. You know, there be people out here, be you know, they be really looking like they It's like, Dad, they really had a hard life. And you don't have one. 
you have really had one and it's going to be showing is like when you have gone through things you'll be that person they'll say you know it's like dad you what in what age even though you know it's like shoot our first birthday is our only birthday but it's just like now it's just like living through experiences but it's just a blessing to be able to see another year but it, it's just at that point they'll be able to see you and it's like hey you know you know what they've been through i mean did you hear what happened you know what well, that hey, shut your mouth and keep on. You spilling the tea? I'm drinking the tea. You know, you going through different things like that where you can tell people your story and you gonna have a, you know, anybody ever seen? <laughs> you know, it made me think about when he's like somebody telling a story and you looking like Craig and Dag on Smokey from front, you know, Friday. You're like, damn. You know, you ain't gonna want to believe that person been through those different things when they open their mouth and say, I went through this, that, and a third. And I had to be able to see this. I had to move this. I had to overcome this. I had to let this go. I had to add more weight to this. And I had to subtract. And then divide and then multiply. You your whole whole arithmetic within yourself. And those are the different things that are taking place into your life. Where it is even when it don't feel beneficial. This is going to be a blessing in some kind of form. That you're going to be able to, to be happy that reality hits you the way it hits you. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification to Andreas Alvarez. Much love to you as well. Farrah Hazard, much love to you as well. Christina Flaherty, much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, please, you know, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I always leave my contact information. You know, a lot of people don't feel comfortable with discussing what they go through on the YouTube of you. So a lot of people just hit me up on my um, on my email and just give me a one on one. And, you know, I just try my best to be able to help people, you know, have a deeper understanding about their purpose and being able to broaden the horizons on what we're experiencing and why. You know, I try my best to be able to do that. And, you know, whatever we discuss, you know, I always make sure, you know, it is very discreet. We, we keep it to ourselves. What we say there is just get laid there. You know, I'll also leave my contact information to my, my link to my podcast in the description box below. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a no donation, it'll be greatly appreciated. You know, go ahead and uh, send it to the Cash App. That's there as well. And you know, whatever you got going on in life and whatever you're trying to manifest, I'm sending so many uh, vibes, whatever is needed. And I'm tripling that and, you know, add more weight to it, too, to whatever you got going on. Stay persistent and stay consistent with yourself. The devil will try to make you give up today because the blessing may be coming in tomorrow. Allow yourself to keep showing up for yourself. If you got to take a break, take a break, you know, but don't give in. Don't give up. You know, allow yourself to do that. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. I love y'all so much. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.